project-based learning at School 21 has put art right at the heart of education. Yeah, put that one there. Art brings knowledge, stories, facts alive. So you get engagement from students, you get students caring what they're learning about. I think one of the big messages of the school is to do things in greater depth. We are passionate here about crafting work until it is beautiful. And my rule of thumb for the products that we create here is are you surprised that a student that age has done them? So did you make it? I think project-based learning is a very powerful way of getting quality work and makes a real impact on learning. The, the model that we've come to in project-based learning is we've linked together what you might call knowledge-rich subjects, history and science, with performative subjects, music, drama. Our cross-curricular projects are usually one term long, and so between 12, 15 weeks, and they will have 300 minutes per week in between the two subjects. Your assignment is to create a three to five minute immersive theatre performance, which is based around the French or Russian Revolution. So you are responsible in your groups for writing the script, for making the set, for directing your own performance. So I think the priority is we just need to run through it. We need to also get props and everything set. Project-based learning to me is a backwards planning structure. You sort of go, right, what's going to drive this whole project and what are we going to produce at the end and who is it going to be for? Then once you've got that, we then say to them, here are all the mini deadlines on the way. They work in teams, they work individually, they have problems to solve, they have information to gather. I really like how we get a lot of independence in our projects. Our play is about the soldiers, how poor the conditions were for them, and so how appealing the prospect of communism was. Get in and stand on the right hand side, right now! To fit all those key events that happen in history in a five minute play is quite difficult. We were new to the fact that it was immersive theatre and the fact that the audience could not speak but had to feel like they were part of this. We are approaching a Russia where everybody will be free. One of the things this school values a lot is craftsmanship, so we keep on redrafting everything we do. We've been receiving critique to help improve it. It's kind of rushed, so I think they should slow it down or space it out a little. It points them to the direction of what needs to be improved, what's not quite clear, where they need to add more knowledge. Great guys, really nice comments. I would like you to go again. And I would argue that the arts is project-based learning. Students are constantly working towards an end product that will have an authentic audience. We are a week away from exhibition. So what we're going to do today is make sure that all the aspects of this project is completely prepared, edited, critiqued and ready to go. So it's the first time we've brought music and science together. The essential question of the project is what does sound look like? We've mapped out the science that we could include in that so the students have learnt about sound, sound waves, how it's made. Over the course of the project, there are times where we team teach all 40 students together and there'll be other times we divide them in half. And I can't say the kids would have learnt the science as well as they would have done if it weren't for the music. It's so much more real and it becomes a lot less theoretical. Which of these words do we use to describe the waves getting bigger? I think it's quite fascinating how science can actually be used to make music. I admit, I would just get bored of just reading a book about science. We learnt how you can be active and learn at the same time. We wanted to find a way of making a physical performance, so we constructed the boom whackers. So they were looking at measuring different lengths of tubes to find out how that affected pitch. And they were colour coded, red is C, orange is D, yellow E, etc. They can then see the visual representation of how frequency works, like the number of hertz when they hit that boom marker. Just to make it a little bit more exciting, we discovered these amazing Makey Makey devices. Provided students are holding the conducting part of the circuit, you can play notes through it. It also works through water, which we've colour coded. So when you touch the water, a sound comes out from the laptop. We've been practicing for a really long time, and I want to see how it turns out. 
We have exhibition night at the end of every term. It's a night where all the projects we've been doing have come together and we show them to our parents, to visitors, experts in the areas we're studying. What are you doing? Why are you killing these innocent people? They don't deserve to die! Having a real audience is really important. It definitely helps you keep motivated when you know you're doing it for a reason. After all of that hard work in the term, you have to like show it to the community and be proud of your work. Bringing the arts into project-based learning is great because students can express the content in a creative and physical way. I think for students, once you've crafted something beautiful for the first time, you never look back. They're getting a sense of what excellence looks like. They're getting all those qualities of resilience and perseverance, of thinking, well, actually, I really have gone on a journey.